are you going to? I'm going to look for my wife. Because as it stands, you bribe all the police officers not to find my wife for me. So I'm going to look for her. I've told you before, and I'm telling you again, your relationship with that girl is over. She ran off because she doesn't love you. Oh, really? Yes. Will you blame her? No, tell me, will you blame her for running off? Listen, I don't care what you think. Lillian and I were going to be together. Do you understand? I see that she has charmed you. But I'm going to make sure that that charm doesn't work. You see that girl? She will not enter inside this house again. She has lost that right. Oh, Jesus, I'm not even ready for the whole back and forth. Do you understand? I'm going out to search for my wife. I'll see you later. My son now works totally me. Anyhow, because of that girl, I've suffered too much for, for somebody to just come and start making my son turn against me. Lillian, I'm waiting for you. It will not happen. Huh. I understand why this kind of job with huge pay is still vacant. Hey God, how did I cross paths with this rude boy again? How will I cope? And I really need money. God help me endure whatever pain he brings my way for just two months. When I collect my two month salary, I will leave. At least the 400k can start up a manageable life for me. It is better I do this house help work and suffer than go back to my ex. No matter what this rude boy does, I won't leave this work. You know, you should not in your life do not ever let me call you twice. Okay, sir. Do you understand? I'm sorry, sir. I'm going to make me coffee. Okay, sir. Sir, there is... Because I don't want to hear whatever rubbish you have to say. Okay? Just go make me coffee. Okay. You smell? No, sir. I have a very good hygiene. Oh, shut up. Good hygiene. Sorry, sir. Hey, sir, come back here. Do 
Bend a little bit, I want to tell you something. Are you stupid? How would you send me coffee without sugar? Huh? Sir, I was trying to tell you that we are out of I sugar. Shut your mouth, I am still talking. How would you send me to with, 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 without sugar? Oh, you cannot talk to me now. But you said you should. You said I should not talk while you're still talking. I said you shouldn't talk while I'm talking. What is going on here, Fine, Daddy? Sir, what have you done again? Daddy, this girl sent me a coffee without sugar. Can you imagine that? Sir, my name is Lillian. I'm not a stupid girl. Oh girl's goodness sake! I don't care what. Will I'm you saying. shut up, Lillian? Sam. Why do you have to serve coffee without sugar? Or at least ask him if he wants sugar. I was trying to tell him that we are out of sugar. He shot me, so I, I, I made the coffee without sugar and he slapped me. Sam, you slapped her? And I will slap her again for not having common sense. Then you have gone nuts. You have gone crazy. Now listen, this is the fifth girl, the fifth man we are employing in just this one month. If she leaves, if this girl leaves, I will leave it to your fight. I don't care. Let me be, Dad. No, you don't care. I don't want anybody, for goodness sake. Get off my boat. I'm fine, sir. It's okay. Now listen, I'll give you 50,000 naira for this place. Just let it die down. Thank you so much, sir. It's all right. Now, go get ready and then go to the market and stock up the house. Okay, sir. It's okay. I'm sorry. Why are you dressed like this? How did you find me here? Look, that's not important, okay? Why are you, why are you dressed like you're walking as a, as a maid somewhere? What, what are you doing here? Listen, Kenneth, it's not better than staying in your house and facing your mother's drama every day. Listen, you are in the past now, so better remain there and let me be. Yeah, did you just call me past? Me, past? It's fine. I know where to find you now. Kenneth, where have you been? I've been worried. It's, um, I found Lillian. So apparently she walks somewhere else as a maid. Can you imagine? She called me her past. Before? Are you not in her past? I've told you countless times that that girl is not meant for you. Just forget about her and move on. You want me to just, want me to just move on like that? Just, give me a fighting chance. Let, let, me, let me fight for our love. You didn't fight for your love when she was living with you. It's now that it's in your past that you want to start fighting for your love. Like it was not your fault, huh? When has it become a crime for me to fight for my only child? Look, um, oh my. I had a very stressful day, okay? I'm just going to go upstairs. And rest. So you now walk out on me. Kenneth, I'm talking to you. Kenneth! Why would you leave your mansion and come here to work as a slave? Kenneth, you've got guts. What do you mean by that? Hey, please, just go back your thing. Let's just go, okay, please. Kenneth, I'd rather stay here and work as a maid and earn my money. Stay here and suffer than to go back to that house and face all that pain and suffering. What's wrong with you? What's this? Maid! Listen, 
my boss is calling me. Better don't do anything stupid. Lillian! Lillian! Did someone just call my wife me? Maid! Sir, what's that imbecile outside there making noise? Eh? I'm talking to you. I will go outside and you so tell your boyfriend this is not a place for dogs, okay? You should stop making noise in my compound. Okay, let me go outside and I mean, just come here. You say yes, sir, when I'm done talking to you. You understand that? Yes, sir. You go outside and tell me to stop making this in my compound. Okay, sir. Let's, come here. Finish the car, I'm leaving in 30 minutes. Okay, sir. Thank you. That way. Happy now. You should be very happy now. Lina, she, she's rejected me. You should be very. You've taken away my joy, my happiness, everything. You've taken it away from me. No, she rejects you. You look for another girl. There are many fishes in the river. Forget about her. Oh, no, stop, 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 stop it. Stop, stop it right there. Stop it. You should be very satisfied. Listen, you used your nonsense advice. Mother, you just tried to be a mother, but no, you ruined my life. I guess you, you, you should be happy now. I don't know why you're so particular about that girl. I don't know. Just forget about her. Forget about her. No, I will not. Do yours. Kenneth just raised his voice at me. I'll do something about this. And very fast too. You're still dressing this bed? Sir. I... How long will it take you to dress this bed? I left you over an hour ago and you're still dressing this bed? I'm sorry, sir. Why are you going out? Huh? Oh. I'm sorry, sir. It takes you forever to do everything. When I'm talking to you, you stand up. I say, stand up! Stand up. Get out of here! Get out of this place! Make this room! Are you sister? You dress for good sake. What's going on? You, you were calling us if the house was on fire. What's going on? You are stupid. Sam, you're very stupid. So, you no longer go for your doctor's appointment. Why have you gone to something else? You will not see people and treat them anyhow. Just this morning, you almost broke a lady's leg. Eh? Sam, where have I gone wrong with you? I have tried my best to give you the, the best of life, a normal life, no matter how short. But since you have chosen a way to live your life, so be it. You can't kill me before my time. Do you hear me? You can't. After all, there are so many things you cannot control in this life. I have performed the sacrifice expected of me. Let the gods take any blame. Give me that khaki. Give me khaki. Get out. Get away from my way. I saw our love fall apart. Trace pathways down my face Empty echoes now surround But in the ruins I'll stand strong For love's a fighter's game My heart will heal in time 
What's wrong with you? So what's wrong? What's wrong with you? To come so fast. I was enjoying every bit of last night. I didn't want it to end. Actually, we kind of control nature, so we have to get ready for work. It's daytime. Um, it's public holiday. Today isn't a work day in the country. I'm thinking we still have more time. Oh, 
Yeah, that's true. Uh, you know, I, I wish we had that time you were talking about, but I stay with my mom and she doesn't like female guests in the house. No, that's not a problem. I can hide anywhere and not, not let her know that I'm here. Look, the thing is, I am a mom. We share a very specific kind of relationship. Do you understand me? We're very close. You know, right now, she might be on her way tomorrow to say good morning and she's very rude to guests. So it's better you just get ready and I'll call you once he travels out or something, okay? Yeah. Well, you don't have my number. I'll get you on the way out. Just so you get ready, okay? Yeah. You want help? Good morning, sir. Is there anything you want me to do for you? No, Lillian, I... <clears throat> I... I came to see you. See me? Yes. How... How would you like? I'm better. See, I am... Sorry about your leg. Huh? Look, I... I was angry that day. Okay, and I pushed you out of anger. I, I am so sorry. Are you ever happy? So what, did, what did you say? Nothing, sir. Look, how do you think I became this weekend? What do you really think of me? Are you sure you want to know? Yes. Want to know, Lillian? Talk to me. Be free. Okay. I think you're mean. I think you're proud. I think you're wicked. I I I think you're heartless. Okay. I think you're the deputy devil. Oh, right. That's, that's enough. I think. We are born to be sad. I think you are born to die unhappy. I think you are born without a soul. That's enough! I'm sorry, sir. You don't have to be sorry. Okay, you are, you're right. I, mean, I don't deserve happiness. Nobody was born to be sad. You said that yourself. Okay, I take back my words. You weren't born to be unhappy, you were not born to be sad. Everyone on earth deserves a happy ending. That's it for me. Lily and I don't believe in happy ending. That's not true. That's because you choose to be sad. You choose to be unhappy. You choose not to love people. Mm -hmm. so let's choose, Lillian. That's impossible. You choose sadness. Explain why the universe had decided to take my life on time. What? I have cancer, Lillian. I have cancer. Don't tell me how I'm supposed to be happy knowing this. I have just one month to live. Explain to me how I chose sadness. Explain to me. Hi, baby. <laughs> Good morning, ma'am. Good morning. How are you? I'm, I'm fine, ma'am. Please don't be angry with my baby. He told me you don't like visitors, but I insist on coming. Okay. Yes, I don't like visitors. 
But I think I like you. <laughs> Kenneth. Yes. What's the name of your new girlfriend again? Yeah. Uh, Jane. My name is Jane, ma'am. Um, Jane for short. Oh. What a beautiful name. Jane, why don't you spend some time with me? <laughs> Let me stop you right there. She's a very, very busy person. Yeah, she's was even about to go right then. Oh, not really. I can actually stay if she wants. You can what? I can stay if she wants. You have something to do now, Jane. No. Babe. Come. Ah, uh, babe, I'll see you later. Okay, bye. Let's go. Let's go. What? <laughs> What has a lot of things to show. Really? <laughs> Can't wait to you. It's beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. I like my son to be with you. Yeah, I like him so much. You know, I... I was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer. <laughs> my dad was predicted. I lost my joy. Nothing in this world mattered. Nothing mattered to me. Well, I went to my girlfriend's house to to share the news. And guess what? Found her bed with an old man. An old man. I only went there just, just so I can, I, I can find comfort. You, you know what? I felt so heartbroken. I felt, I felt my breath leaving me. I felt, I felt like it was my last day on earth. Is Jane? Your girlfriend? Yes. Does she know about your health condition? No. I understand how you feel. Life isn't I understand how you feel. Life isn't about how short you live, but how well you live. Besides, sickness on a sickness, prediction on a prediction. We almost die someday. Isn't it better that you know the day you're going to die? So you can make amends. So you can you can find peace with your soul. You can be happy. You can find happiness. No matter how short the time you have on earth is. You can find a happy ending. And I promise I'll be here to help you. Only if you would give me the chance to. Sorry, 
Maybe. Hmm. You know what? Your mom is so funny. I, like, I love her. I can't wait to be her daughter-in-law. Daughter what? In law. Uh, I know you can't wait to marry me too. See, listen. Try and be calming down. Calm down, eh? I would love to, but mom is waiting for me downstairs. She wants to stroke. But before then, I need to change. You know, I've been wearing this since yesterday. Exactly. That's why you need to go home and get a clean pair of clothes. But there is nothing wrong with wearing my boyfriend's clothes. Boyfriend what? Clothes. So let me go change. Let me get it coming. She can drop. She can wild up with this one and join down to alone, Jesus. What, what do you think you're doing, eh? Okay. So let me change. Ah, babe. Why are you shy now? Come on, open your eyes, it's me now. You know what, from today, I'm all yours. No man is ever going to touch it again, okay? Um, um mom is calling me, uh, I have to answer her. Bye. <laughs> Successfully thrown out the love of my life. What do you want me to do? How do you expect me to sleep? Eh? So it's because of that, that, that Lillian that you're coming to embarrass me here. I should not, you're waking me up. You say you're going to sleep. <laughs> you're, you're joking. You're not sleeping anything. No. Me and you are doing night bitches. You that we're going to do. Two of us are going to do. Go back to your room now. I'm not going anywhere. La 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 Good morning, sir. Good morning. Lillian. Is she nice? And how is your leg? I hope you're feeling better now. Wait, what, what's going on? Do I, do I have something on my face? No, sir. It's just that you've never called me Lillian before and it's kind of surprising to hear you call me Lillian. My leg is better now. So you don't like it? Or oh, I should stick to the maid? I like it. I prefer you to call me Lillian. And I'm fine now. <sighs> Thank goodness. You know, I was feeling very guilty last night. It's okay, sir. You don't have to. I'm fine. Okay, maid. Um, that was a joke. Okay. I'm <laughs> sorry, <laughs> let me help you with this. No, don't worry. I can do this. It's fine. No, I will help you do that. No, I can do it. Don't worry. I insist. I will call you a maid now. <laughs> no, I'm yeah. stop. Mm -mm. I'll, I'll do Give it, it to me. Stop. Hey. I'll stop. So I'm going to do it myself. Hey. Stop. Hey. Okay. <laughs> yeah. This is yours. What are you talking about? You mean your new wife? She's in the kitchen, 
cooking some nice delicacies for us. And I cannot wait to make her my daughter in law. She you have a nice son outside the tag in my area because it's not me. But you brought her home. Acting of all lovey. I was drunk. Dovey. I was drunk. Okay. Ah. I don't even know what that girl is. I don't know why I mean it. So she should come and be going home. I thought you had moved on from that your Lillian girl. Well, she's a nice girl and I think you should give her a chance. Mom, can you please leave? You're hungry already, don't worry. Food will soon be ready. Mom, please come to the kitchen. Okay. You should give her a chance, okay? I thought we agreed that you stop calling me maid. Oh yeah, uh, my bad. Lillian. Boy, you know, maid suits you more. Sir, I prefer you call me Lillian. <laughs> well, if you keep calling me sir, I will be forced to keep calling you maid. <laughs> okay, I want you to call me Lillian. Mm. I hear you. Oh, your royal majesty, I got you some gifts. I would like you to try them on. Wow, they're really nice. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, let me go try them on. Yeah, I'll wait. Okay. <laughs> Oh my god! Thank you. <laughs> oh no no no! You look so good. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, <laughs> sorry, I. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, you see, I have um. I have been meaning to ask you something. Okay. Yeah, uh, the... The guy that comes here for me... I mean, your boyfriend. The one who comes here to plead for your forgiveness. I've been wondering why... Why haven't you forgiven him? Kenneth? I, I don't know his name, but... <laughs> Kenneth is not my boyfriend. He is my ex-husband. Oh, yeah. Interesting. His mother made the marriage miserable for me. She made it hell, and Kenneth didn't really have a say in that, so. mother maltreated me in the marriage. She made it hell for me to the extent that 
I lost the pregnancy. Oh, you... Yeah, and... You were pregnant? I was pregnant and Kenneth couldn't do much because... Because I didn't want to come between him and his mother, so... I decided to leave. And so... What was he saying all of this to me? Kenneth couldn't do much about it. And I didn't want to be a reason why Kenneth disrespected his mom. I couldn't stay in a marriage where I wasn't loved by my mother-in-law, so I decided to leave. Wow. It's fine, it's in the past now. I mean, you've been through a lot, and then you came here and I started my own drama. It's okay. But you are. You're a really strong woman. Thank you. <laughs> you know what? I need you to follow me somewhere. Oh, where? It's a surprise. Come on, let's go. Can I go change into no, some clothes? No, you look perfect. Look at you. <laughs> hey, come on, let's go. Okay. Mm -hmm, after you. <laughs> <laughs> What are we doing here? <coughs> what are you doing? Come on. Play with me. Okay. Trust me. Look, I have always wanted to do this. Just lay down. Mm. Do what exactly? You know, just look at the heavens, the universe, and ask them why they've been so unfair to me. It's it's beautiful. I hear that when humans die, they turn to stars. Right. And I know your star will be the brightest. I wish. Just like this one. Oh, that one? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and when it's finally my time, I will shine bright <laughs> next to yours. Just like this, too. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Now. Well, we will all die and turn into stars. It's <laughs> cool. Okay. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> what is funny? Uh, I thought you were not afraid to die. Okay. Mm. 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 I thought you said you didn't want to dance. <laughs> You're enjoying it more than me, you know. <laughs> By the way, you look good in this dress, though. Oh, you look good, too. Oh, you look good. 
You refuse to come down for your dinner, so I decided to call for my for you. Excuse me, um, <coughs> who the only me this? Baby, don't tell me you forgot your baby's name. I'm Jane. Don't ever forget it again. Jane or whatever they call you. See that thing your mother are doing? We should stop it. If I it's that time I put a stop to that nonsense. Listen, read my lips. I do not. I do not love you. Nothing can happen between us. What are you saying? I know you are joking. You know what? Please come and eat your food. I know you'll be fine. Look at my face. Do I look like I'm joking to you? Huh? Do I look like I'm joking with you? Listen. I love my wife. So much. I think about her all the time. From the way I even treated her. My conscience wouldn't let me be with you. Do you understand? But your mom told me she returned your bride prize. Um, see, let's give us a try. I, I know we will work. What, what part of we can never work? Don't you understand, eh, Jane? What part? Uh, well, I'm going to leave you to think about this. I know you'll change your mind by tomorrow. Let me go and join my mother in law. Please come and eat your food. Good night. Hey, Jesus Christ, of Nazareth. Where's all this? Yes. Sir? Hey. You awake? Yes. I came to check on you. You're welcome. Good night. Hey.
will respond My love will come one day I saw our love fall apart Like glass that broke no sound Tears traced pathways down my face Empty echoes now surround But in the ruins I'll stand strong For love's a fighter's game My heart will heal in time I'll rise above the blame Love may leave us in the dark But hold I did nothing to him. I swear to God, we were playing by the poolside. The next thing, he suddenly collapsed. You don't need to explain yourself, my dear. You don't need to. Okay? Sit down. You see, before I employed you as a maid here, I've already employed 10 maids and they all quit their jobs before the end of the first month, just because of my son's attitude towards them. Even I, his father, I had already lost hope before you came into the picture and brought happiness back to his life. I don't know how you did it, but I just want to thank you. Sir, I believe everyone can find happiness. Sam is a nice person. I did not bring happiness into his life. He brought happiness into my own life. Well, I have been watching the both of you for quite some time now. And the love I saw between two of you made me a happy father as well. Sir, I love Sam so much. I know, I know. And I pray he survives this. Oh, he will survive. He will. We have hopes. You see, um, the doctor here found a surgeon in India who will cure him. And um, we are planning on flying him to India immediately. Uh, that is what the doctor here is uh, making arrangements for. Oh. We are just waiting for ambulance to take him to the airports. Oh. Thank God, though. Yeah. Oh. Thank you, Jesus. He will survive. I just pray he survives. No, no, he will. He will. Doc, he will, right? He will survive. Thank God. He will survive.
Do what exactly? You know, just look at the heavens, the universe, and ask them why they've been so unfair to me. It's it's beautiful. I hear that when humans die, they turn to stars. I like you, your star will be the brightest. I wish. Just like this one. Oh, that one? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and when it's finally my time, I will shine bright <laughs> next to yours. Just like this, too. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> time you have on earth is you can find a happy ending and I promise I'll be here to help you only if you would give me the chance to Lizzie, the ambulance is here. Mm -hmm. Sam? Mm -hmm. Sam? 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 Sam, wake up, the ambulance is here. Sam? No. He's not responding. Sam? No. Sam? 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 No. No, Sam, why? Sam, why? Sam, why? I saw our love fall apart Like glass that broke no sound Tears 
trace pathways down my face Empty echoes now surround But in the ruins I'll stand strong For love's a fighter's game My heart will heal in time I'll rise above the plain Love may leave us in the dark But hope What are you still doing here? Hmm? Tell me, what are you still doing in my house? Don't you have, don't you have like work to do? Eh? Don't you have your own house? Don't you have parents that have been worried about you? How would you just see a man and just follow him to his house and you're here ever since? Don't, don't, don't you get worried? I beg, I beg, I beg, don't insult me. You are the manager. Listen to me. You see this relationship there? You die here. My ex no fit dump me. You said we can't dump me. So the earlier you put your head for this relationship, the better for all of us all. Mm. And you're saying the relationship now is by force, Abi? Yes, it's by force. This relationship must work. Hey, you're holding my clothes, yeah? Mm. Eh? So you want to kill my son just because he said he doesn't want you? Mom, I thought we are in this together. You and who? Ah! Before you close my eyes and open them, you run upstairs and pack your things and get out of this house! Stupid get out of my house! Get out of this place! Take, take, take. Nonsense! Take Look at her! So, you see, everything will cost. No, 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 have you seen it? If she left when I said she should, she should, she should leave, this nothing will not happen now. I'm sorry. I only wanted the best for you. The best for me. Forgive me. Hmm? The best for me. Listen, from now henceforth, keep your advice and stop mingling with my affairs. I beg in the name of God, Mom. It's, it's costing me everything. Please. I only wanted the best for you. Forgive me. You would have to go and stay with your sister in Canada for a while. All of a sudden, my personal life out. I will go in anywhere. I'll do anything. But, please. I want to see Lillian. I need to apologize with her. You know? Yeah, I wrote her. I wrote her. I needed to see her. I wish that was possible. Honestly, I, I wish for. She hates me too much now. I don't think she wants to see me or any of us. I'm sorry. It's okay. I'm really sorry. I didn't mean to do it. It's okay. It's okay. I'll fix it, alright? Just take it easy, I promise I'll fix it. Hi, Sam. We are here again. I came to tell you that your baby and I are doing well. And also to tell you that I now eat too much. <laughs> Do what exactly? You know, just look at the heavens, the universe, and ask them why they've been so unfair to me. It's, it's beautiful. I hear that when humans die, they turn to stars. Right. And I know your star will be the brightest. I wish. Just like this one. Oh, that one? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and when it's finally my time, 
I will shine bright the next two years. Just like this too. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for showing me what true love should be like. Thank you for loving me unconditionally. Thank you for caring for me. And I told you, your star will be the brightest. <laughs> Look at it now. Look at it. It is the brightest. And I miss you. I miss you. I wish you were here to see it. I wish you were here. Lillian. Hey, what are you? Oh my God, what are you doing here? Why do you, 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 you want to kill yourself? What are you doing on the ground, on the floor? <laughs> Lillian, talk to me. What's going on? Lillian. Are you, are you, are you, like, are you married now? Not really. Come, come and go to my place and talk. Listen. Uh, don't, don't worry about my mom, okay? She she's not around anymore. She's not in Canada. Okay? Please, just get up. Get up, get up. Easy, easy. Easy. Yeah. Easy. Sorry. I'm sorry for your loss. Thank you. Look, I still want to apologize for what my mother and I did to you. You made you go through. Look, she was sorry and she felt really remorseful before she relocated to Canada. It's fine. I have forgiven you and your mother. I am at peace now. Thank you. Thank you very much. And um, Lillian, I don't know if there's a chance. I, I mean, even if it is a little bit, for us to still be together. Look, Lillian, I've not gotten over you one bit. I can't even see myself getting married to someone else, or spending the rest of my life with someone else that's not you, Lillian. I cannot. I am pregnant with another man's child. Look, Lillian, I really don't care. Okay, I will love this child like it's mine. I will love him or her like I love you. Okay? I don't doubt your love for me. I know you love me so much, but... I can't be with another man while I am pregnant with Sam's child. He doesn't deserve that betrayal. See, that's one thing I I love about you. You pure at heart. <laughs> Look, I'll wait for you, okay? <sighs> I don't care how long you take. Ten years, ten years. I will wait for you, okay? Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Yeah. Now tell me, what do I get for my 
pregnant friend. <laughs> Can I get okra and rice? What the f okra and rice? Mm -hmm. What's that? Yeah. Okra and rice. What? What's no. ill? What's ill? No. No. What is ill? <laughs> I saw our love fall apart Like glass that broke no sound Tears trace pathways down my face Empty echoes now surround But in the ruins I'll stand strong For love's a fighter's game My heart will heal in time I'll rise above the Love may leave us in the dark But hope will light the way In the shadows find a spark New love will come one day <laughs> 